Welcome to another video. I'm Lucas and today I'm going to show you the five best VS Code extensions in 2023. And that is not just my opinion. I've done a lot of research and the following extensions are almost everybody's favorite VS Code extensions. So you probably should try them too. Let's get started. Prettier is an opinionated code formatter and style enforcer. It automatically formats your code according to a set of rules and conventions when you save your file. This extension is extremely valuable because it helps you to ensure consistent and clean code formatting without having to spend your time doing that manually. So with Prettier, you can focus entirely on delivering your coding requirements. If you click on this icon over here and then on extension settings, as you can see, there are also a bunch of different settings to configure everything according to your requirements and needs. But the default settings will probably work best for you. The only thing you want to change is you want to enable format unsafe. Just search for it in here and make sure that this box here is checked. Let me also show you how this extension works with a simple example. This is a simple HTML file with some basic boilerplate code in it. And now in the body, let's add a headline. Below the headline, we want a paragraph with some text. And below that, we want a button like that. And now if I save, as you can see, the file gets formatted automatically. But that's not all. This extension also recognizes some mistakes. Like for example, if I would accidentally delete the slash of the closing tag here and save. As you can see, nothing changes. Our content is not getting formatted. Instead, we get a red error warning here in the bottom section in our status bar, which means we've made a mistake somewhere. If we click on it, then scroll up a little, it will show us what the problem is. We can close this, fix the problem and save and everything is working again. Perfect. So as you just saw, without a doubt, one of the best VS Code extensions out there. The material icon theme is the ultimate classic of all icon themes in VS Code. And obviously it is also the most downloaded one with over 17 million downloads. This icon pack has all of the icons you would think of for files and also for folders. It is very easy to install and set up and you can customize it as well. This extension is so much more helpful than you might think. Let me quickly show you why. It helps you to identify different folders and file types. And this makes it so much easier for you to navigate through your files and folders and find what you're looking for. And this is even more helpful if you work on projects with larger folder structures. Like all of the other extensions from this video, the material icon theme is currently completely free and you can install it with just a few clicks. So make sure to at least try it out. Tab 9 is a VS Code extension that uses AI to provide smart code completion suggestions as you type. It is probably the best free alternative to GitHub Copilot and Co. Tab 9 learns from your code and can suggest code completions based on your current context and coding patterns. There are plenty of benefits to using Tab9. The top three are increased productivity. You can generate code much faster. Code consistency. Tab9 can help ensure that your project's code is consistent, making it easier to maintain and debug. And improved code quality. It may find solutions that you might not have thought of on your own, and this can lead to better, more efficient code. Let's take a quick look. We start inside the body part of our HTML file. There are many different ways how you can use tab 9. You could simply start writing your code like you would normally do. Let's say we want to create a nav bar. Nav, GL, like that. So, and once you get a suggestion, you can either take it by click the tab button, or you can continue to write your code to give tab 9 more context and you wait for better suggestions because the more context tab 9 gets from your paragraph the better the solutions are going to be or you can also swipe through different suggestions 
or you can even just write a comment to tell tab 9 what you want to do next. For example, let's delete that. We write a comment and say create a headline with title as text, like that. Now jump down here and as you can see, pretty cool, right? I just started to use tab 9 myself a couple days ago, but I would really recommend you to try it out and see for yourself how much more you get done with an extension like tab 9. Of course, there are better AI tools that could help you even more, but most of them are either not free or there is no VS Code extension of it. LiveServer is another very popular VS Code extension. It lets you launch a local development server and see your code changes in real time in your browser. Anytime you save changes in your code, it automatically refreshes your browser so you can see the changes you've implemented. And this saves you so much time since you don't have to manually refresh all the time. With this extension, you can easily manage and track your code changes and this allows you to quickly spot errors or issues and it makes it super easy for you to experiment with your code. Let me show you how this works. So, I have a HTML file with some basic boilerplate code here and a CSS file with some basic styling here. Now, in the status bar in the bottom section, you can find the link to start your live server. Click here where it says go live and it will open up a new browser window and display your site like that. Right now it's just an empty white page because our body part is empty as well. So let's change that. We want to add a headline here. Below the headline we want to add a paragraph with some text. Now let's save and switch back to the browser. As you can see the site was automatically updated thanks to the live server extension. Most of you probably already knew or maybe even used live server. For the rest, you're welcome. Auto rename tag is an extension that automatically renames HTML tags when you rename one of the tags. Using this extension, you for example don't need to manually update the closing tag when renaming an opening tag. Very simple but very useful. Let me show you real quick. So right now, I have the auto rename tag extension disabled. Now I jump into my HTML file inside the body part and create a div with text in it. Like that, perfect. Now, let's assume we have a HTML file with hundreds of lines of code. You're currently working in the CSS part of your application when you realize you actually want this part to be a span element instead of a div element. So you switch back to your HTML file, search for the specific line and change it. Save it and move on with the CSS part. So without this extension, you have to do twice the work and as you just saw, it's super easy to make mistakes. Let's quickly enable the auto rename tag extension. Move back to the HTML file, correct this and also switch back to the div. And now let's save. As you can see, if I rename one tag, the other one changes automatically and you prevent mistakes. Seems like a pretty helpful plugin to me. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, smash the like button and of course subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!